What if I'm not her type? What if she's with a guy and he beats me up? Like on and on and on and on. And they just start filling their head with a whole list of negative things, which causes them not to take action, but also depletes all their confidence. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Can't do the clap. <laughs> and I am here today with my lovely lady in Brazil and we are going to go over, I just found out she got a number today mm -hmm. on her own, which she's never done before. We usually get them together. Actually, you, you told me like four or five days ago, you tried to get a number off a girl that was like a 10, but she had a boyfriend. Yeah. But today was your first successful number, but she didn't even tell, she didn't like text me and, and mention it. She's like, well, I wanted to surprise you. So I'm excited, but I haven't heard the story yet. So we're going to go over the story of a girl number closing during the daytime. Was it on the street? Yes. Okay. So I was walking, I was walking across the street okay. and I saw her. Okay. So we'll go over that. Uh, before we continue, please subscribe if you've not already. New videos every single day. Press the notification bell. And if you want to get very good and master the game very fast, jump on a free 30-minute call with me. I'll show you how I can get you there very quickly in the eight-week virtual mentorship program. So let's hear your story. Okay. So I was walking with my friends from work. Mm -hmm. And then we were like an hour middle break. So we were walking in downtown. Like, was yeah. it the girl that we hooked up with? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> so we were walking and then like we were like, and then it started raining this afternoon, like very, 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 very fast. Okay. And she had an umbrella, I didn't have an umbrella. And she was like under the, the thing like. Oh, the, gr the girl you want to talk to had an umbrella? No, I was with an umbrella and the girl that I work with, right? And mm -hmm. this other girl was under like a thing like this, you know, when there, there is this store and then yeah. this little piece here. Okay. So. She was there, like waiting for Uber. I found out this later, and then like I was like, oh, it was raining so much. I was like all like bad, you know, like all all uh, like a messy. So I thought like, and then I saw the girl, and then like you know when you cannot like not see when you saw you, it's like it's too much, like it gets your attention. And then like she got my attention, but it was like with the umbrella, so I felt like, oh my god. I'm what do you mean so she got your attention? Because she was very, very pretty, like very nice oh, style, okay. like very, very, very nice style, like, um, I don't know, very, like, stylish, like elegant? stylish, yeah, elegant, like stylish, you know, like okay. very, 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 so what did you say on the opener? No, so, but, but at first I was afraid, I was like, oh, because she was too much and I was like, oh, I'm going to talk to her and then no, no, I'm not going to talk, like the thing that you always said, like you have to do, and then like, I, I kind of like hesitated a little bit, mm -hmm. so I, I would talk to her, but I didn't. And then this girl from work also looked at me, oh my gosh, she's so pretty, amazing. And then she said it again, and I was, you know, crossing the street, she said it, oh, she's so fucking mean. And then I was like, yeah, so fuck that, I'm gonna try in my head, so fuck it. I wouldn't, at first I wouldn't talk. Because it was no, come on, she's so, so, so pretty. Yeah. And then after, like, okay. What's like the girl in the grocery store? She was super hot, too. Mm -hmm. The girl in the grocery store. Which girl in the grocery store? The one we met downtown. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But, that, but at first you were like, oh, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. You gotta stop yeah. doing that. Don't check it out. Oh, my God. It's like a little student. All right, so then, <laughs> then what happened? Okay. And then I, I saw, and then she said, oh, she's very beautiful. And, this, and then, like, I looked in the. I come back and say, oh my god, I love your your jeans so much. Your jeans? Jeans, like the pants. Okay. The jeans pants. And then like she was like, oh really, thank you. Were and they tight? Did she have a big butt? Uh she she had a big butt, like a very nice butt and like and then I was like, oh my god, I love your jeans. Where do you go back? Wait, so and then like I started like talking like this and then like I started like what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say to get her in? and then started getting like nervous. So I just like, no, I'm gonna say whatever I like in her. So I found the most nice thing to like, which was the pants, because it was like very nice style. Yeah, so I've, I've taught her before, like on day game approach opens, to just comment about like their outfit, their hair, their jacket, their purse, mm -hmm. et cetera, just say like their tattoo, mm -hmm. just as like a conversation yeah, starter. And then like I said like more, and then I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna ask for her number? How am I gonna ask for her number? It's easy, we've done it a million times. No, I know, but I would like jump from one to, oh, by the way, it's her number. Like, 
Because when I'm with you, it's easier because you can. Like, My boyfriend is a DJ. We throw parties, or we have yeah, barbecues. But that's like when, it's like when you're together, you know. No. I was there. Was you can still say that. There. You can still say that. That helps frame it properly too. That it's going to be both of us meeting. Mm. You say you just say, oh, by the way, like we throw a bunch of parties. Mm. Like my boyfriend's a DJ, and that makes me look good. And before she's even met me, and then you say like, can we invite you sometime? Do you have WhatsApp? It's really easy. But how did you do it? Oh, cool. Okay. Um, and then I was there. Uh, and then no, no, how did you then, ask for the number? Okay, and then the Uber was like about to come, like, and then she was oh cool, and then she was like uh, like in, with a lot of hurry, and she was like oh my god, oh my god, it's Uber coming, it's Uber coming, like you know when I was talking to her because yeah. I like oh, and they said oh cool, can I get your number? So it's nice to be to be like friends with people like this, so like very nice, you know. And then she got the number. But next time, yeah, the, like the mistake is just like you want to like frame it for like meeting up sometime. Like let's like so you want to usually yeah, ask. But I thought about no, it's like, still good. But like like critiquing this because this is the first time hearing this. Like critiquing this, I've noticed you'll tend to just like talk, 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 and and then like some interrupt will come and it can fuck up the whole thing. So I I usually have to be like okay number okay number, like I have to like push you forward because otherwise you'll just talk until an interrupt comes. Like imagine you just talked then the cab came and then you run out of time. Mm -hmm. And plus, the other important thing is you want to be like framing a meetup, and you want to be finding out when she's free. So like, you want to go for remember as quick yeah, as possible. Yeah, but that was also, but that was also with my friend from work. You know, so I what? didn't want her like to think that. You know, so I banged, I'm being like very subtle. I banged your friend from work's face. So. Yeah, so I was being very subtle. It wasn't like a normal situation too. No, but you it's don't. It's harder to frame like no. this. But but the way you, the, like the, the improvements to make there is you would say like. Um, you know, that, like propose like, oh, let's have some drinks or let's meet for whatever. Uh, are you free tonight? Because you met her during the day. Oh, I think I think so. Yeah, cool. Let's try to meet up around like eight. I can introduce my boyfriend. Like, well, I'll hang out in my my place. Blah blah. blah. If we have a jacuzzi, we can get her to come over in bikini or bring bikini, at least. And then it's easy to kiss in the hot tub and stuff too. Um, and if she's busy, how about how about tomorrow? Oh, I think I could do tomorrow. If she's busy then, when is the next time you're free? Oh, I think I could do closer to the weekend. Okay, cool, let's, let's plan for like Friday. Then you put a calendar reminder for Thursday and then hit them up. Because with some of the numbers we've gotten, like we've, we've like failed to work the lead properly for threesomes and then the girl just like falls off. Or we like forget to even message them like after like some time has passed. So yeah, that's like the only improvement. And were you like flirting at all or no? Mm -hmm. Were you like flirting? She was very, very, very sympathetic. But were you flirting? Yeah, kind of. That's, a, that's the other important part. It's not just like, oh, I like your pants, like factual thing, factual thing, like information, trans information exchange, information exchange. Okay, see you later. It has to be more like, wow, you're really, you're really sexy, like kind of like comments like that that show you're interested. But it's diff It's a little, it complicates things a little bit when it's like a girl talking to a girl because, mm -hmm. and like she might not be lesbian or bisexual or whatever, but. Mm -hmm. That's why it's like a screen, like a test. If you like bring up like, oh, like you should hang out with me and my boyfriend, but kind of like giving her a look, like the three of us can have a lot of fun, that kind of stuff. Because mm -hmm. then it's more like setting the frame properly. Because if you don't want it to be like, oh, she thinks like, oh yeah, this is like pure platonic, and then we like, but I mean, if we invite her in the future, it's going to be obvious anyways. But but see, then after you got the number, it wasn't as scary. It wasn't a big deal. It's like when you're like going to ride a roller coaster, like you're going like up the thing. And like after you get off, you're like, that was awesome. Or like jumping in a pool. Or if you just like dip your foot, you're like, oh, it's too cold. It's too cold. It's too cold. You jump in the pool and it's like, oh, this is not a big deal. Now it feels nice. After you adjust. So like you have to, for the, in the future, like just follow the three second rule thing. Oh it's like one, two, three, boom, move. Because other things can happen too. Like you don't know how much time you're working against. Like her initial hesitation could have blown the whole thing because the Uber could have came along. Like let's say you had like one and a half minutes total or one minute total and the Uber was like one minute away. That initial hesitation of not going in would have closed the window. And then, and then maybe you're like, okay, now I'll go in and then she's getting the Uber and you lost your chance. So like after you've gone through the pain of like missing like good opens enough times, because if you hesitate, like the girl can be interrupted, some other guy could approach her, um, her friends could come in, she could leave and go to the bathroom. Etc. She'd go to the dance floor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. 
Um, or even worse, she sees you like looking at her, but like not having the courage to go and approach. And then she just looks at you like, oh, that guy's like kind of a pussy, right? So that doesn't apply like a girl approaching a girl, but that's, that's like really what happens. So, and plus the mean, in the meantime, like the guy is sitting there like building up a list of negative things. What if she has a boyfriend? What if she doesn't like me? What if other people notice? What if it's a hard rejection? Um, what if I'm not her type? What if she's with a guy and he beats me up? Like on and on and on and on. They just start filling their head with a whole list of negative things, which causes them not to take action, but also depletes all their confidence. So even if they do go in, now they're like depleted of, instead just assume that everything's gonna go well, go in and then act accordingly based on how she reacts. Mm -hmm. So good job. And we will, did you add her on WhatsApp to see her picture? You can show me after. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. You can show me after. Now okay. the next piece is just, since you didn't frame any plans, just to set the plans. Okay. Good job. Okay, anything else to add about your experience there? Mm, no, I think that's very much. Yeah, so if you get numbers in public when you're away from me and I get numbers in public, we'll double our forces. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, it's such a smart we made a, we made a list on the whiteboard of all the three songs we've had since May. And it's over 30 now, officially. So, and you had never had one prior to meeting me. I've, I've corrupted you, and now you're cold approaching on your own. I had one last thing I'll add in. I had, there was this girl that was like 18 that I met in Philadelphia. I taught her some game stuff. And she started like day game pulling from like department stores and shit, like, like hooking up with chicks one on one. Oh, really? That had boyfriends. <laughs> oh, really? She's like, it's so easy. But like, the, the girls get like a lot more compliance because like they can trust you and like you know if you're pretty like you're already like past their value judgment circuitry and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Whereas with the guy, it's like they have to like determine like what is this guy representing like what he you know how he really is and this and that. Mm -hmm. Can I trust him? Can I be safe? Is he creepy? Do it look at awkward? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. But with a girl, you like bypass a lot of that shit. Mm -hmm. So it just you get a lot more. Positive reactions. Anyways, um, if you want to learn my whole system from A to Z, jump on a free 30-minute call with me personally. I'll tell you how I can get you there very fast in a short eight weeks. And don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep the channel snowballing. Lots of value videos coming. Lots more roasts as well. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take, Take care. Bye-bye. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run No doubt son, this is not just about fun We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum